Audiovisual Preservation Solutions presents EXIF Tool, version 9.38. This is Katherine Gronsbell from AV Preserve. We hope you find the EXIF Tool tutorial series I have created useful and informative. We look forward to your feedback. This video is the first in a series of tutorials and will serve as an introduction to EXIF Tool. For more information about this and other instructional resources, please visit www.avpreserve.com slash tutorials. In this video, we will cover what EXIF Tool is, what its functions are, and in what ways we can employ it, or how it's already in use across various disciplines. EXIF Tool is a command line tool in a Perl library that can read, write, and wrangle metadata in a wide variety of files. It's a fairly ubiquitous tool, it's platform independent, and it's most commonly incorporated into different types of digital workflows, including for preservation. Typically, EXIF Tool is used in executable scripts and not often as a standalone tool. We are focusing on it as a standalone tool in this video to understand its functionality, products, and abilities so we can make more informed decisions when considering integration to establish or developing workflows. It is also freely available and frequently updated at the link provided here. EXIF Tool is flexible with ample opportunity for customization. It allows for batch processing and conditional processing and has the ability to read, write, edit, and or strip metadata to various output formats. It's as simple or complex as you need it to be. One of the various types of data that EXIF tool can read or write is EXIF metadata, or embedded technical metadata that's generated by the creating device of a media file. Information captured could include GPS coordinates, shutter speed, exposure, F number, if a flash was used, ISO number, date and time the image was taken, white balance, or resolution. It's valuable for asset control and also for collection profiling. Another type of metadata relevant to EXIF tool is the IPTC standard, which was developed by the International Press Telecommunications Council in the 1970s to standardize international news information exchange. It's baseline, user-created metadata for rights status and restrictions, and lists creator and related information. It is important to understand how these types of metadata are created and employed. Devices like digital cameras, smartphones, or scanners can create EXIF metadata, or software programs like Adobe Bridge, Photoshop, Aperture, or Lightroom. In addition to creating EXIF data, these programs allow users to embed their own IPTC data. Photographers can create templates, including copyright or contact information, allowing their work to retain valuable information even after being shared. On the photo sharing site Flickr, users can embed their own EXIF and IPTC metadata into images for other users to see. On the main page for an image, we can see detailed information about that image. When we select an option to view more, a link to the image's EXIF metadata is provided. Here we can see more detailed information about the image, along with a blurb about the use and role of EXIF metadata. This information is mapped to the image's main display page and populates the lower right-hand column of fields. Now that we have a basic understanding of the types of metadata EXIF tool can read and write and how this information is used, we can start becoming familiar with the tool's command line iteration. Please continue on to the second video in this series to learn EXIF tool's basic command syntax and standard output. For the remainder of EXIF tool tutorials and other resources, please visit www.evpreserve.com tutorials.